On the other side of the Atlantic lies the Gulf of Mexico, a sea much like the Mediterranean. But like the Mediterranean, all is not as it appears to be. The shrimp boats are out, as usual, plying the waters. Dolphins follow, in water that looks as blue as ever. But up ahead, an ocean of life quietly fades to black. This is the dead zone. The only sound is the boat's engine. Here, there are no birds, no sharks, no fish, no life at all. Only the pelican, out on its annual expedition to map one of the world's largest human-caused dead zones. I think you'd call that four meters. Yeah, catch the water at four meters, so bring it up to five. Chief scientist Nancy Rabelais is measuring the oxygen content at one of her many sampling stations. Dead zones occur wherever oxygen is depleted below the level necessary to sustain marine life. It's called hypoxia. Every spring, the Mississippi River washes fertilizers and sewage from 32 states into the delta and into the Gulf of Mexico. All these nutrients cause a massive bloom of algae. When they die, they decompose on the seabed, using up all the oxygen. And the green line is the oxygen, which I'm very interested in. As Rabelais watches, the impact of the declining oxygen levels on marine life is predictable. 